hello friends my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the JDBC database connections so let's go through the slide uh, JDBC database connections so there are certain steps you need to keep in mind when you want to connect your Java application uh, with database then first of all you need to get the connection object right so first step you have like loading the JDBC driver then second step you are opening a connection and finally if you are done with the connection uh, database connection then finally you need to close it so that it will not get any resource leak in the production environment so before you can read or write data in the database via JDBC you need to open a connection to the database uh, first step we have a loading the JDBC driver the first thing you need to do before you can open a, a database connection uh, is to load the JDBC driver from the database actually from Java 6 onwards this is no longer necessary but doing so will not fail uh, you load the JDBC driver uh, by calling a method is called for name which is available in the uh, class class so class is a class in java which belongs to the java.lang package so for name is a, is a static method so directly you can call by the class name so class dot for name and uh, for name takes an a string uh, or a string which is nothing but the uh, your driver class name so each each jdbc driver has a primary cla uh, driver class that initializes the driver when it is loaded for instance to load the mysql database driver uh, you will have to write class dot for name and here you need to pass qualified name of your driver class like com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver it's a qualified name of class so com dot mysql dot jdbc is a package name and driver is a class name so complete qualified name of this class is uh, package name dot class name uh, you only have to load the driver once uh, you do not need to load it before every connection opened only before the first connection opened so this should happen only once in your application so now once you load the driver or register the driver appropriate driver then you need to uh, open a connection so to open a database connection you use the uh, driver class a driver manager class which is available in the java.sql package right so and you call its get connection method right so if you have a standalone application then you might take connection from the uh, driver manager but if you are uh, if your application is web based application then uh, taking connection from the driver manager is not a good choice so if in web based application you you may expect a lot of concurrent requests at a time right so you required a multiple connection uh, for every user right so uh, in that case if you are a web based application then you need to take a connection from the data source data source using the jndi and for that you required a application server or web server right so how to take connection from the data source using JNDI and how we can take advantage of connection pooling etc I have already uploaded a video on that so you can check my YouTube channel right so but here most of the uh, demo we are going to look uh, for a standalone application so we will take connection from the driver manager right so driver manager has a get, uh, get connection method so there is three overloaded get connection method we'll see how to make use of these all three get connection uh, overloaded method to take connection uh, from uh, driver manager right so first of all you need to form the uh, jdbc url so here i have written jdbc url for the mysql database so here jdbc literal it represents is a jdbc api now colon after colon i have given mysql is a database name after that i have written colon slash slash forward slash twice and localhost so localhost is a server uh, is a machine name where your mysql server is running in this case i have installed mysql on the 
same machine so that's why uh, I have written localhost but if you are taking uh, uh, MySQL connection remotely then uh, name of the host name of the machine where your MySQL server running or you can specify the IP address as well colon 3306 is a port number where your MySQL server is running and finally I have given slash jdbcdb it's a schema name which you have to create on the MySQL server now user user name is nothing but it's a username database username password is password of your database while installing the MySQL uh, whatever pass you would have given same password you will have to specify over here now once you know about the database URL username and password then these three parameter you can pass to a method is called get connection which takes first parameter the URL and second username and third is the database password and you will get the connection object the URL is the URL of your database you should check the documentation for your uh, database and JDBC driver uh, to see uh, what the format is for your specific database right so how to form uh, uh, database URL, username, password and what's, what is the driver class name for this you can see the your Java doc right for a specific data data source the URL shown above is for the MySQL database the username and password parameters are the username and password for your database now closing the connection once you are done with uh, done using the database connection you should close it this is done by calling the uh, close method on the connection object and basically we used to close uh, this resource in the finally block but uh, uh, as we know that connection interface in java.sql package implements auto closable so there is a one of the very uh, beautiful feature has been added in the jdk 1.7 something is called try with resources if you know if you use try with resources then you know don't need to explicitly close a connection object in the finally block so those things we'll see in the practical example so in next video tutorial i'm going to cover I, I will show you how to take database connection in different ways right so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial